Hello guys, Almost Addicted here, and today I've got a special house for you guys. It's a miner's home. I spent quite a while, I've done all the interior for you guys. I've even done a bit of the landscaping and everything. But as you can see, this house is awesome. It's got everything you need to survive and hopefully enjoy it. I'm just going to show you around. So we've got an infinity pool. We've even got a mine. I wouldn't suggest putting some TNT while you're in survival. We've even got a little place where you press the button. And it takes you down into your mine. I've even shown you how to do your mine. And then we've got a little placement here. So we've got all our place where we can do our furnace. And then we go into the building here through there. But I'm going to show you the back of the building first. So let's walk around. So we've got this little mine area, which is nice and basic. And then at the side here, we've got another place for our chests and stuff. And we've got a nice little back door here. And then the back, as you can see, really, really nice. And I've even got a little place here. So you've got a little balcony at the side there. And you've got a little place where it looks like you've got a crane coming down and taking it all in. It's even got little levers, so it looks like it's actually functioning. Uh, let's have a little look on the inside. So it's a typical miner's house. So you'd get walk in, you've got cobwebs and stuff, you've got divider walls, you've got a little place where you open it up and it gives you uh, pickaxes. So you can collect that and go mining. And then you've got an armor stand, a little place for your coats and stuff. Loads of room for storage. And then round here we've got a little TV area where you can chill out. A little little chair there and then we've got the bedroom over here as well so you go all the way up these stairs into a nice bedroom we've got hanging plants you've got everything you've got a dispenser you've got a little bedroom here you could probably put two or three beds here so you could have your friends stay around and you've got little cobwebs and stuff and this looks like it's actual actually working and stuff so it comes into the thing probably be loud at night for the miner but there you go i think it's a perfect little starter house and um, maybe a little survival house it's probably not the very first house that you'd build in minecraft but i would say a bit later on in the game maybe about 10 days in or something like that you could probably achieve something like this so hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, you feel like it's worth putting a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing as well uh, because I post content like this every single day. I've just come back from a very, very long break as most of you know, uh, but a lot of people are not getting my notifications. But hopefully if I keep putting out these videos like I've just recently put out a huge, huge survival castle block for block. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. I'll put a link down in the description for the castle because it's so big. I think it's a three hour video. I've got quite a few castles on this channel. But without further ado, let's build this awesome house. Hopefully you guys enjoy and let's make this awesome miners home. Right guys, so let's build this mining house. So it will fit in a 29 by 21 area. And I've kind of marked it out with a little bit of something else. So I'll go up in the air. You can pause the video. You can take a look for yourself. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to the corner. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to place an oak lock. Uh, these are the materials we're roughly going to be using. But we might pick up some other stuff along the way. Like some mine carts, some rails. Uh, maybe some lanterns and chains and things like that. Maybe some plants and stuff. So yeah, we've got the first one, and we're going to count up, I think it's going to be eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have a three gap there, and then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. So we've got our three gap, we might as well place our extra log there, and place our stairs on like that, because we're going to be using that anyway. So at the back of here, we're going to place another one. And another one at the back of this. And then we're going to go diagonal to the left now. So let's go around to the left hand side. So we've placed our diagonal one. We're going to have three gaps in between here and place another one. And then we're going to go diagonal up. So it should match that side. So both going diagonal like that. And then we're going to have a one gap and place one. And that's going to be this pillar on this side. So this is going to go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to the same height as the others three gaps like the other side one two three four five six seven eight perfect and we might as well do that on this side as well with our logs 
So we're going to go around to here now. We're going to have one gap and then place a log just like we have there. Now we're, we're at the front again. So we're going to have five. So we count five spaces and place a log. Same with this log here. Count five spaces, place a log, and then one gap, log, one gap, log, and it should be like that. So gap, 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 gap. And then from here, in the middle of this one, we're going to count one gap, place a log. And we're going to go all the way to this end one, in the middle, place a log, one gap. And then one, two, three gaps, place a log. Same with this, one, two, three gaps, place log. That's gonna be our little mining shelter for our minecarts to go in. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna bring this up to one, two, three, four high. So we're gonna count one, that's one, two, three, four. Same with this one at this end, one, two, three, four. And we can bring this up one, two, three, four, like that. And we can bring these together so at the front it should look like that gonna go to the other side one two three four bring that together like that it's gonna kind of be our little hut and then we can bring these up to the same height we can actually put them across as well might as well and this is gonna be our mine here so we'll count that's one two three four as well and we're gonna go across like this and we want it poking out the end like that so it's kind of like a t double tease same at this side as well. So one, two, three, four all together. One, two, three, four all together. And then across. Now, if you don't want those poking out like that, you can just change the way of the log. Change the way of the log like the Jedi, okay? Right, so now we're on to the next bit. Let's work on this bit here. In fact, I'm gonna bring these up to maybe. Shall we do? this right we'll join all these together we'll put this across here as well and we're just going to have a log going all the way around at this height all the way around here connecting into there we can actually do the same here where it connects there like that and then this log can come up this log can come up and we might as well bring these logs up also so, okay, we're gonna go onto the oak planks now. So what we wanna do is we kind of make a doorway shape. So we've got a place for our door there. And then above here, we're gonna fill that in one. And then we're gonna make a window shape, which is two also. So it should look like that. Nicely done. And we can do exactly the same on this side as well. So we've got a place for our door. Now, if you don't want it to be a door, what you can do is just Place a block like that, fill in some grass, and then we can put some spruce there for the trapdoors. And then above that, just like that. Or if you want to go over the top of these to have that sort of shape. Or if you would like something like this, one in the middle, something two at the side like that. You've got that kind of shape. Maybe something like that. So you can mess around with different kind of things doesn't have to be like that it's not going to affect the build all that much anyway so now we're going to place a log here and here and we might as well do it at the front as well so log here and here and um, let's work on the details and then we can work on the stuff after this. so in between these two logs we're going to count one two three with dirt or grass depending if you're in survival if you're in survival you're going to have to let the grass spread to the dirt and then we're going to place our oak trap doors this time and then across the door, I'm wanting to use some spruce. So one, two, three, and then we can grab our fence like this. It should join up and join into that log there. And then we've got that bit. And then the next stage is to fill in this. So what we can do is get our spruce trap door underneath the window and all the way across. Now up here, we're gonna count one, two, one, two, one, two and then we can get some more going across like that. And as I said with the other window, if you want to grab some of the slab instead and do like, like that, you can go like that, but we're gonna have a window there anyway. So I'll kind of show you and then you can mess around with different shapes that you would like. 
Um, so above this, we can actually take that out, but I'm going to wait until we've done the roof. Um, so I think maybe we should work on the roof and then work on the roof of this one and then we can add in all the extra details. So we're going to use the spruce. We're going to come out like, um, let's see. Is it best to do it this way so we can come out even more? Let's do this, okay? So that out like that, that out like that. And then underneath these as well, if you would like, you can put a stair there just to add more detail to it. So there's different ways that you can add detail, different stuff that you can do. And then across here as well, what you can do is put some trap doors and maybe extend it a little bit more. But for this, what you're gonna have to do is get a grass block and then crouch down and then fill it over this leg, that. And then it will look moi, magnifique, beautiful, yes. Or you can just keep it nice, and thin like that. Something like that, so it's entirely up to you. You can mess around with it, make it a little bit better. So, now what we're gonna do is place two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're gonna do the same at this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then the usual stair under until we reach the top. So a simple roof, but if you want to do like the out trimmings in a spruce, and then we're gonna put a stair like that and a stair facing out like that. So the out trimmings in the spruce, and maybe you could change the color, but I kind of like it just all in one plain color for this one. And then we'll put our stairs on like this. We don't have to put the under one for this one, like that, and this, and then a stair like that, and a stair like that. And now from the inside, we can maybe make that into a window and then fill in the inside like that. You can raise, raise it to the top like that. So for the window, I was thinking maybe you could put this here and then place something like, um, maybe even that will do, just as a, a glass pane. So a glass pane like that, and then underneath you've kind of got that little detail there. You can do that there as well, but I was thinking something more along the lines of maybe a little gate post like that or something. So I think that's enough detail for the front. Sometimes I see a lot of people doing really loads too much detail and it kind of makes it look messy. Like this, you've got like a neat look to it and I think it looks nice. It just works well. Like for here, if you don't want to put the grass blocks because we can't put anything in there, you can put something like glowstone in there and it'll make your house light up. So let's, just for a second, let's cater to that. So get our glowstone. But I kind of like the greenery there. You can maybe put some bushes in there, but you can have that lighting it up. But that's just an idea for you. I kind of like the little bits of dirt. Maybe it could be like some plants only just growing or something like that. I'm sure in one update, eventually, you'll be able to put plants underneath that sort of area, but who knows. So I'm gonna bring this roof across. Now you've got the whole roof, so I'm gonna speed this little bit up. So just fill in all the roof in and then maybe some slab going across the top. Okay, I've got both sides of the roof done. Now let's work on this side of the roof. Now we're gonna use some slab for this. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna go all the way to the other side. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna place a slab, another slab on top, Slab, another slab on top. So slab, 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 until you kind of get up to the top and you'll end up with a shape like that. Which will look all right. I was thinking maybe put some campfires over the top of here to make it look a little bit better, but I'll do that later. And we're gonna bring this all the way up to this point here. Now with this here, I'm kind of feeling, bring some oak, one, and then go all the way around on the inside as well. You might as well. You just want some kind of little windows here. So maybe something like, let's get the roof done first. And then you can kind of see what's missing, what needs uh, filling in and stuff like that. So I'll fill this in. I'll have to go in from this side here. Fill this all the way up to the wall area. 
like that, that, and that. And by doing this, we can see which bits we can't really have a window on. Might as well fill it up there. So we can have two windows here. So I'm thinking just a small window. So I'm going to go across maybe something, one there. So we can fill in one, two, one, just at that point. And maybe something like a little trap door on. Don't need it too detailed. Maybe some fence in there as well, like that. Nice, easy, super simple window. I think that'll work just fine. Uh, now, from here, we're going to go across here. We might as well fill this in, but if you want a little window there, you can always have a little window there. Um, I think that'll work just fine. Same with this side as well, so we can have a little window there. I'm going to stick with the gates in it. I think that looks good enough. And then across here, I'm going to grab some of the oak. Oak up there. I'm going to have two up here, two up here, like that. And then I was thinking something like trap doors up here, but down. And then three gate posts of the spruce. And then maybe do some kind of little... Let's put a log up like that. Because I kind of want that's where the minecart goes up and around. And then we can grab our stairs. One, two. And then join it on with this here. Like that. Now this bit could be anything. Now we could what we could do is we could even have some plants growing at the side there. And you can have your own infinity pool here. Um, infinite pool or whatever you call it. In here you can kind of like... I don't know, you could go like that, so you have a little bit more detail for that little bit there. And then add our water in, so we can use that. And it fills all that in. Looks kind of nice. Flower-wise, uh, anything. Anything, really. Whatever you like best. Maybe some flowers like that or something. Just to make it look nice, you know. Pretty. Very nice. At the side here, hmm, let's see. We kind of want a lantern here, I'd say. So we can bring it out by that, maybe on a chain. So we'll grab our chain, get our chain there, and a lantern as well. We're going to have loads of lanterns around this place anyway. So let's say chain, I think only one will do, like that. Something like that will look perfectly fine. Now I wanted some lanterns underneath this bit. A lantern definitely on our mind because she would definitely have a lantern on there. Let's go around the side here. We need to work on that. We can always put the lanterns in a little bit later. Um, but yeah, that front area is done, kind of like it. Um, now here, we kind of want a place where we can kind of get into our mine. So, I'm gonna fill this area up here, this area up here, maybe even with Fill that up there and there. A little window there at either side. Maybe just a little shutter that you can open like that. Would be perfectly fine. Adds a little detail to that. And same with this as well. If you want to wear... No, you can't actually do that. If it was one high, you would be able to do it. And you'd be able to go like this. I don't know how that would look. Does that look terrible? Best not. Just keep it like that. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so for this bit, yeah, I'm going to keep it open mine and here as well. We can actually bring these two to the top and then just place an oak in the top there. That's going to be our doorway, so we can have something like that. I think it's perfectly adequate. Um, now for here, maybe because it's our mine, we'll fill in the back with cobblestone. Fill in these sides here with cobblestone as well. We can have this going across the top like that. So that's our little mine area. We kind of want it shut off so we can kind of have something like this. But you've still got a doorway to get into the place. And then maybe something like this going across the top. And then you can just fill in the top there like that. Maybe have a roof of wood. Maybe in a mine you would have like a roof of wood. But you want something like that. But you'd have beams going across or something. You might do it in stone or whatever. Um, and obviously dig your mine down like this. You kind of want it in steps. So like this. Something like this. And then if you want to fill in 
the walls with your cobblestone going down as well you can kind of do that but i kind of want a step where we're not just falling off into here maybe take that out i'm gonna have the floor in here so you go down to that area and then maybe something like that so you can go into there and then down there so let's fill this you can obviously make your mind as detailed as you like i'm kind of keeping it fairly basic for now i might work a little bit more at it but something like that filled in maybe if you want you can fill it in this sort of stuff here you can have that at the side there and then just the two steps going down just for this bit of course and outside maybe maybe something like that you can even have these posts here as well for your little mine maybe something like that on top you can even have a little roof going across here like that as a nice little mine entrance and then maybe a button or a dispenser at the side um, let's see let's just get button and maybe trapdoor thing here a button at the side like that you can even put little buttons on here just to decorate a little bit I kind of want this bit though to be across the top maybe maybe if you do this across the top because I kind of want a symbol there so people kind of know it's a mine so let's get it going across like this and then we can put it all across the roof without much trouble at all but this bit you're gonna have to crouch down just so it kind of overhangs you've got a nice little overhang there want an overhang at the back as well just so it matches with the front at the back here you could have a, a little area where you've got like this going round to this point maybe you have another log there with that on you can add loads of stuff on there maybe you want some bits behind here where you've got maybe your furnaces and stuff so it's kind of like hidden away and um, let's see i don't even know where the furnaces are completely forgetting maybe some chests and stuff like that so you've got your furnaces at the back have as many as you like really have some chests up the side maybe even a crafting table somewhere you can even have your crafting table there or something so it's kind of out of the way it's not as messy but it still looks nice so you can come in here you can come around here and you can actually get into there it's best to do something like a little stair or something like that make it a little bit easier so you can go like that into the place I think that's perfectly fine so you go down here into your mine you can even have little chests at the side here so before you go down into your mine you can go like that so we've got that and obviously it'll go down further and then you can turn it back into a three again going like that and then going further down and then obviously filling it all in with your cobblestone or whatever you're using but you get kind of get the idea but there you go I'm just gonna fill that in something like that I think that's perfectly fine I mean on the walls and stuff you can even have like uh, this coming through so you don't have to go up into your house you can kind of uh, yeah just access it like that maybe some chests in there maybe just a little area for your chest maybe something like that add a chest in there so you can go down into your mines and yeah and of course you're going to need more lanterns as you go down I might put one there even though it's kind of let's put one there instead it's a little bit better isn't it and at the side here like normal mining areas you probably have like little lanterns going all the way down or something like that so you can have that for little decorations little mines going down there so you've got your mine pretty much done um, let's get a little minecart. I kind of want something like um, something coming from here and then down and around. So I'm going to remove that button. I'm going to grab some rails. You probably want something like a detector rail or something like that. Or um, what are the rails called? A powered rail even. So you get your power rail there and then you place your button on. When you press it, it powers up the rail and it shoots your minecart all the way down here. So shooting down there into your mine you get the idea let's put a little mine cap there just so it looks a bit more authentic there we go 
perfect looks beautiful and as i was saying for the front with something like an item frame so i'm just kind of giving you some decoration ideas as well as making the build you get the idea you can put a minecart there so people know it's like a, a minecart to go down and same with um yeah Let's work on the other stuff now. So we've got our water supply there. We've got that. We've got our mine going round. That's looking good. Um, can we fit any more underneath here? We can. Just something like that. Kind of want it facing that way, the same way as the roof. Um, so let's work on the side now, like this side here. So I'm kind of thinking we'll bring these logs up the same as what we've done at the other side. I kind of want like a little balcony here so bring that log that's going down there and we can just fill that in with oak at there and the top so we might be able to fill a window in and of course across there maybe something like that now for um, a little balcony you can keep it simple super basic something like this either side maybe just out by one like this just something like this would be perfectly fine. You can even have something like that with this on top. Keep it basic. Uh, across the top as well. You can have something like that. So you can come out onto there. And then maybe some fence going across so you don't fall off. And then from this part here, I'd say we put a log here. One. And then bring it out like that. Two maybe we can have something like um, just to make it look a bit more like mine like let's put that connected to there maybe this could go all the way through here let me just remove that just to make it look even more authentic it's so like that coming to the roof maybe it have might might have some uh, connectors connecting that so maybe you can operate that at some point. Let's put a nice little flooring in. Maybe a way to get up is use one of these logs. I'm going to face that log down like that and have some stairs going up into this because it is kind of like a, a mine. So the guy working in the mine would probably be using something like that. And across here as well, we can have some stairs or we can use some slab. Let's use some slab, I think just so we can actually get up to these window points. And if you want to bring it like that, so you've got kind of different levels like that, you can do that. And then of course our stairs going up, let's see if I can find them. Ladders even. Let's get our ladders out. And then of course you can just bring it all the way up to the top there, down into here. So that's our way to get up into that area. And same with these bits here maybe it's something like that a gate in there and then at the top we can use our trapdoors you can even have it out like that so it kind of looks like it's open something like that perfectly fine maybe something like this so we can hang our lanterns from these and now from here I think something like this would do just one there and then maybe a chain we can have like two chains and um, maybe cut out a square here so maybe we could have the cobblestone to so get the cobblestone almost like this is a crane pulling something out of the earth so you can dig it down as far as you like probably stay safe by keeping it on one and then you could get like a piece of ore, so maybe gold or something. Get some gold ore or something like that. Something cheap, so it looks like it's been pulled out of the ground there. So you've got your own mining rig there. And then to decorate, you can add some of this just to make it look like it's got a little bit of mechanics or something. Maybe something on top like that. So that's kind of pulling that out of the earth. I think that looks just good enough that that there that and that there and then maybe something like this like that maybe have some of this going across and even on the outside here you can have something like this to keep your flowers in 
Same at the side here. You're wanting to add little bits of decoration there. Keep it symmetric if you like. You can mess it up or you can make it more organic. You can add some bushes there. But I think something like that would be perfectly fine. I'm going to get these gates for these little bits here. Just in there. And then in here. And then same with this. You can have little trap doors above it. Like that. And then of course I did flowers. I'm just going to stick with just a, a little white flower or something like that. Fill those in. Maybe you might do something different for this one. Something like that. I think that's perfectly fine. And then we can work on this bit here. So yeah, we can do exactly the same as what we did there. So that going across here. And this going all the way up to the top. And you can have a big wide open window like that. Or you can have the same as what we've done here. So we have that and then we have this going across the top maybe we could do exactly the same but keep it open so you can actually put flowers in this one like that and then maybe some fence posts going up to the top here maybe do it from here actually keep it nice and simple and if you want to add more detail add something a little bit different there for that one and maybe a lantern coming dangling from that bit would be good um, then you can even have it from different angles but I kind of like it just like that nice and plain you can even get some pots or something because you kind of want your back a little bit different from the front so we can do that so it's not just all the same you've got kind of like a unique house from all angles and um, but at the back here you can even expand it let's see if this will go like this this so we've got a little bit more room on the inside like that I'm gonna poke it out the side and just have those on top like that something like that so that's a connected window we can have it open we can close that one have that as a window maybe you could have a back door out the place so I'm just gonna use something like uh, an oak door or something like that I think that'd be fine um, I did pick it up but uh, it's left me there we go so I'm gonna put it in from the outside and then across the top I kind of want a little lantern here so just the one here and then this going across the top here and then maybe something like some of these spruce fences so out the back looking kind of nice and then on the inside of course I should have probably done it first because it's gonna knock the doors off but oh well um, let's see, let's get the door on there. Yeah, you kind of want to do the doors first <laughs> before you place them on. Go like that. I'm going to put this door from the inside. And then maybe you can change the flooring. It doesn't have to be all oak. So if you wanted it in like a spruce, you can change it to spruce. Or if you want it in different kind of colours, checkered patches or something like that. And so I'm just going to fill in all this. I'll speed this a little bit up. Right, I've done that. And I thought by the doorway we can do something like that. Now, if you want to kind of use a divider wall for something different, you could get some grass or something across here. And because we're in 1.16, you can get some bamboo to divide it. Like that going up to the top and it should there we go divide it up like that as a dividing wall or you can have that going up so you've got that little area there and then you can obviously have all your crafting stuff we've got that to go upstairs could be the bedroom area this because it's going to be a mining home you're going to have fairly a lot of kind of uh, I would say chests and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have this all the way up to the ceiling and down like this. We're gonna have a look, I'm gonna cut out a little gap. Or you can just use this because you can kind of get through it this way. Oh no, you can't because of the bamboo. Um, so maybe a space there. And then we can have our chest here. So you can have that chest going all the way up to the top. Double like this. And then of course around the area kind of 
because we've got nice high ceilings we can add some lanterns in there maybe even a lantern through there it's quite low ceilings here i'm going to put a lantern either side here and uh, yeah it's just basic stuff you need you, you can have your furnaces you can have your crafting table just kind of whatever you feel you would have in a miner's home so maybe some crafting double craft it just to make it symmetrical you can have like little side pieces here and uh, get some hearth slab little flowers or something like that you can even have a little desk thing and uh, I'll just speed this up so I can kind of make it and decorate it and then you can have a look and give you some inspiration Okay, here you go guys so basically armor stand and stuff maybe pattern the floor put a little coat rack so he can hang his coat and there uh, we've got little lanterns we've got this across here maybe because he's always in his mine he's got some cobwebs around and stuff a little workbench here and uh, yeah maybe put a dispenser up here with a little lever and when you flick it you can grab your axe and then you can get ready to go mining um, so let's see we'll go see the bedroom after through here I've just put maybe have some mushrooms on the floor because obviously things will be growing in his house because he's always mining some more cobwebs and stuff lanterns up there and maybe a little uh, bush here at the side and then through here maybe this is his chill out area so we've got some more cobwebs maybe an anvil or some paintings and stuff a little seating area where he sits down and watches his little TV and uh, when he relaxes on the night time and um, yeah, I'm stuck in the cobweb. And then we're going to go up to the, the bedroom where none of the magic happens because he's dirty and covered in soot. So like maybe hanging sort of bushes, a plant pot. You can just put something under there, put the plant pot like that, remove it with a chain. It looks like something's hanging. Um, obviously some more cobwebs. Maybe a little bench area where he's got his lantern. Maybe some scaffolding and kind of like something like this so it looks like it's kind of been operational so maybe we've got some little levers here that kind of do something that could be a trap door out of there not, not really because you can't get out of there but anyway you've got some chains and that you've got his bed kind of enclosed in this area maybe some shelving and stuff like that and uh, brown carpet because his carpet's definitely going to be muddy um, something like that and he's got maybe a portal loo outside or something showers in the stream close by or something because he's a dirty dirty man you know so there you go and uh, yeah hopefully you got some inspiration from this I don't usually do the interiors because they take too long but I thought I might as well speed this a little bit up but hopefully you got some inspiration from this I'll just check if I've done everything yeah 
So something like that. And if you want to like decorate the garden, I kind of like the stone slab. You can have like a stone slab going around the wall or something like this. Kind of work it around, get some trees around the area. Kind of curl it round. You can have like it higher in some areas. And then you can have, let me speed this bit up actually as well. There you go, you've got like your TNT outside, I probably wouldn't suggest it in survival. You've got some ores that he's picked up along the way, maybe a little stream running through his village with some sugar cane and just kind of like uh, taking away the path, doing some pathways where you think he'd be walking, so he'd be walking to here, maybe walking around the side of his building where this is you can probably do some towards the back i've just kind of filled it all plain but you can kind of uh, put some pathways joining all the way up there as well some little stones and rocks going around the area you can obviously build it all up around i put some trees and stuff so you'd have it more enclosed but that's kind of like a little idea and if you want as well maybe you could take this out of the ceiling and have maybe two out there and then a little cobblestone thing on like that and then you've got a little chimney out the top and um, so yeah hopefully you got some inspiration from this guys oh you built it and you really enjoyed it and you like it enough to maybe subscribe and like the video if you didn't that's cool but uh yeah hopefully you got something from it and hopefully it's even better than what the thumbnail is i think it is i think it's pretty cool so yeah um I built this house before and um, so the thumbnail kind of like it didn't have this bit across the side and all these tiny little details and stuff but hopefully it shows the build off in a good way so i shall catch you in the next video guys and uh, make sure you check out my other videos i've just done a massive huge humongous castle block for block so if you want to do that in survival you can do that and um, so i'm just going to go mining and uh, yeah catch you later see you in the next video it's good to see you and if you want to be a bell subscriber so you hit that bell button you get notifications every time i upload you can do that as well that would be absolutely awesome of you so i shall catch you in the next video not gonna lie still in this skin i'm really sorry <laughs> apologize okay see you later